Restaurants and movies appear Amusement parks and ocean piers Or we're built in love by family Atlantic City's face A changing place Time to lead the way See the old become the new. Remember yesterday. Rolling chairs and Charlie cars, Ferris wheels and movie stars. For we're built in love by family. Atlantic City, my hometown. again to the postcard show postcards of the city of Atlantic City we'd like to thank you for tuning in for tuning in every Sunday 2 p.m. and uh, what we do here is put uh, collectibles of Atlantic City postcards on the screen and uh, help you identify them so that they can see what the past looked like around here in the past because uh, we know what the future looks like but we have postcards of the past to show you what the city looked like in certain eras. We want you to come to the, close to the set, take the shows, and you'll have the cards, because everything's gone video now. Here's a postcard setup, the title of the show, Atlantic City Postcards. Look at that. Little trick photography there. The world's playground. And again. Again. Now let's go to Ventnor on Atlantic Avenue. That's Ventnor on Atlantic Avenue, where right. the trolley is. Now, we've been trying to identify the street here. Okay. If anybody can help us. It says it Ventnor really looking north, but that, that's what it says on the card. Now, you can't look north and be on Atlantic Avenue. No, you have to look east. Or west. All right, we do not know what street it was. We ride up and down here every day trying to pop what street we think it would be. Well, what we think it is, Newton. we think that this street right here, this building that you see here, is Trenton. And Atlantic, the Albany Apartments, okay. that the high school would be right on the other side of this in the future. Okay. And we, like we, Newton. We, we figure we're down by, what, Plaza Place? Newton. Newton. South Montgomery. Newton Atlantic. Here's two trolleys. One going uptown, one coming down. They only went as far as uh, Douglas Avenue well, for a period of time. They went to Longport and got on a boat. They used to turn around at Portland Avenue as well, mm -hmm. that empty lot down there by St. James. But here's the trolleys taking you down. Hello. If you notice, Atlantic City always had granite curbs. Mm -hmm. 
Used to be a big hotel in Ventnor on that vacant lot near St. James and City Hall, you know. All right. So let's put this one on there. There's beaches as they appeared in Atlantic City's lower Chelsea section from like Jackson to like Raleigh. All right. These were, were known as Lower Chelsea, but it was called the cottage area. It would have cottages back there, and these massive homes were built, manicured lawns, and they had the, what were these called, trestles or something? Rose bushes. All right. It had a really nice garden set up. The bulwark was out just a little further, and these people had these walls. Big homes, families, and Ventnor. Of course, the, along the beachfront in Ventnor, no boardwalk uh, to a time, no boardwalk. Right after 1944, the boardwalks got wiped out down in there, and the Ventnor put those back. Margate never put their boardwalk back well, up. When did Atlantic City put a lower Chelsea boardwalk in? There's no boardwalk in front of the children's seizure home between Annapolis and That would Windsor. be Annapolis Avenue here and Windsor Avenue here. This is the Children's Seashore home. Behind this would be Atlantic Avenue. This would be Annapolis Avenue here. That was the Children's Seashore home. Well, if you were looking down that way, you mean from the top of the... Uh, ambassador. Ambassador. As you look from the top of the Ambassador, looking west, you can see the lawn situations they had. This would be the Chelsea and the Old English. And you would have Godzingers at Montpelier Avenue, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. And then you would have the Osden, and you would have the little area where everybody built up on Wilson Avenue. Then you would have Lincoln and Roosevelt Beach. There's no President Hotel or Motel or anything in here. There's the high school built, though. The high school is in. 22. So it's, pro it's after 1922. No Mayfair. Here's that was 52, right? Here's Pacific Avenue. You can see the Knife and Fork Inn sitting right there. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I don't know who else you see. Who you see? Schumann's place at Montpelier Avenue. Sovereign. Sovereign. Grossman's. Right. Seth Grossman family. Their mom and pop lived in here. I think the father was a dentist. He had dentist. Right. Perez. Dr. Perez was in here. 60 South Sovereign is right here. The animal house of the 60s. <laughs> well, then you can look one way at it, and then you can look the other way at it. There, there we go. There's the present hotels in there. Here's Albany. Here's the Dutch kitchen. Is that Wilson Avenue there? That would be Hartford Avenue. They had great expanse of land. This is Bobo Gotten's Dutch kitchen, I'm pretty sure it was, wasn't it? Here's Eldridge Storage in the park. The Ambassador is in two sections. Convention Hall is in. Joe Ritz, he missed it. Joe Ritz is hidden right back there. Okay. Million Dollar, Central, Steel, Garden. And that's it. That's how it wrapped itself around. You can see lit Emmy Blatt. That looks like the buildings are all over each other, all right? right. Yeah. Huge. Now, Lower Chelsea, Chelsea would be where? Where's Chelsea from where to where? Chelsea's from, Chelsea is from Albany to w Florida. With the pointer. Where's oh. that? Chelsea? From right. Albany? We're going to show a bird's eye view of Chelsea. Yeah, here it is here. Okay. There's Montpelier and the Bulwark looking deep into Chelsea. There's Montpelier. Back there. There's Montpelier Avenue looking towards Pacific in the Bay. Here's the God Singers or the Creston right next door to it. Pacific Avenue. There's Pacific Avenue in Chelsea at Montpelier Sovereign. We, we, we haven't been able to pinpoint it, but we believe that this is Sovereign Avenue here. Could be. Because that would be 60 South Sovereign. This would have been Mr. Schumann's place. Well, then there's Morris and Brighton's in there somewhere. There's the school back there. There's Brighton. There's the Brighton Avenue School. Before they put the piece from Brighton to the middle of it, this is the piece that went from Mars to the middle. But there's Brighton, Mars. That's a nice picture. Nice street. What was that place you kept saying that one, uh, the Gutzinger? There it is. What is it called? G-O-R-O-D-E-T-Z-E-R apostrophe S. Go. Grodzinger's Creston Hotel. Nice place. Montpelier and the Bulwark. You can see the Bulwark in there. And this one was right nearby it. The Ozzy Osden. There you go. The Ozzy Osden, huh? Right. They had to tear this down. It was biting the heads off of rats. That's there you it. go there. And there it is from another Word angle. Walk. That First was place with fireplaces. Fire escapes, not Ex fireplaces. Oh, here, escape. you, can see, <laughs> you can see this white building down here, which uh, was on the tent city situation, but years later, they'd store rolling chairs in there, Hartford and the Burwalk. I made a mistake. I'm only human. There's the Osmond Hotel again. Hello. 
Then they made a nicer card. This card looks better than the real card. Look how pretty. That's how it sat there. I think that's a family name. I'm not sure. The I'm Ostend. Right. The Ostend. There it is. This is the west side of the building. It's the east side. Just face directly south to the beach. Now, you remember the, a couple programs ago you said, just put the card up, zip it, don't say anything. Let Let's see the what people somebody's... figure it out first. Okay? They're only human. That's a rare photograph. What? Does it looks like know? a pier out over the ocean that's never been registered with the city, man. This here, this appears to be a pier here. It appears to be it, a pier. I like that. It stops here, and it runs to the bulwark. It goes from the bulwark to the water's edge, and it looks like a large barn. And first off, we thought this was another city. We thought. Well, where is this pier? It can't be a pier there. It's not Atlantic City. Uh, how could it be Atlantic City? There's no... What is this? It's Oops! Asbury Park. Oops. There's the Osden. Uh. And when we, uh, when we identified the Osden, then we knew we did have Atlantic City here, and we have a pier that no one knew about. We have a picture taken from the west side of the Million Dollar Pier, looking towards the Osden at Montpelier in the boardwalk, we have a almost sort of a built Ritz-Carlton Hotel. And as you look closer, you picture this building here with this large A-frame here and the Victorian edges. And you realize, hey, that's Mississippi Avenue in the boardwalk right there. So that means that this here particular situation here is at Mississippi Avenue in the boardwalk which would be the old excursion house where everybody came in a train and when hundreds of people came back to wait for the train, they wait in this building. Now that's your black and white half-tone photo, right? Right. I, we found this half-tone and I said that that's remarkable. That's the Mississippi Avenue Pier. And everybody told me, no, that's Avalon or Ship Bottom or Asbury Park or somewhere up there. I said, no, that's Atlantic City. And to prove it, the view south of the Million Dollar Pier. Says and Atlantic so City, New Jersey. And there it is again. The view south of the Million Dollar Pier, Atlantic City, and there let's pull that is the out. building. Hey, wait, let's see it again. You mean that well, there's like that identical picture? There it is there. That building there is that building there. Isn't that something? And there, see this building here where my hand is? Yeah, back over that See way. that building there? Yeah. That's that building there. That's, That's Mississippi City. in the Borg. That's the Mississippi Avenue Pier. That proves that there was a sixth pier. And what is this? Let me see this one. If you look at that, you got a little bit of the Ritz there. You got the Austin. Got a little of the Ritz. You got the, the Warwick, Austin. I think. You got a little bit of the Warwick going up, probably. But if you notice, the beach swung around Million Dollar Pier and went right into the Borg at Georgia Avenue. And it was like that. That beach stopped right there. If you notice what happens at Iowa Avenue, people, your street names stop being states and start becoming capitals. From Iowa is the last stated street. Why is that? Because Atlantic City went to Iowa, and this water ran right through to the bay. A this creek. There was a break here, a creek that opened up, and the island stopped at Iowa Avenue. So the Austin was there, and the arcade front of the pavilion front runs along the beat a boardwalk there at the back in the background there's in front of rendezvous parker convention halls we know it today there's that particular building where the pier was just sitting that we pointed out was right here they took that pier away and built three pavilions in its place that's a four-story ritz not the austin as you can see there's that particular building with the big a-frame right there mississippi avenue in the boardwalk right there because when I was a kid that building was still there this is the pier that we had that they made a pavilion then they put in these white pavilions that made out of white wood here and put rendezvous park behind it you mean like this there's a closer upper up. of it if you look at it there's that building and the excursion house just became a little particular building it used to be that pier we just showed you Rendezvous Park goes up behind these four white pavilions. Here's the Ritz-Carlton, and the Ritz-Carlton is being built, and it's only one, two, three, four, five, six stories. It's not completely correct, uh, 
up there yet. I think it goes up to 15 stories. And, and then the front, they teed the front. They put a front on the T. There's only one tower on the Ambassador. That's years ago. That's a long, long Here's time. Here's 1922. Here's 1922. Rendezvous Park is built. Rendezvous. Here's, a, here's that Mississippi Avenue building we tell you about. That pier used to lay here. Rendezvous Park is built. 22 to 24. Between Mississippi and Georgia. Burnt There's down. the white pavilions. Here's the Ritz completely erected. Oh, well. Pretty good. That's how they put then it they in. What, uh, then they put a second part of the ambassador on there even before there was a rendezvous, right? Look at the crowd on the beach here. Yeah, it must be having a rescue there. Either a rescue or a dance party or something. Well, this is out of whack a little bit, but there is no rendezvous park there, but you have the second part of the ambassador. Right. What you have here is where we are. We get back to where we were, Mississippi and the Bulwark. Here's the pavilions. Here's the second piece of the ambassador put up back here. Before the Ritz. Before the Ritz is even constructed. Bef there, now there is a Ritz. And there's a rendezvous now park. Now there is a Ritz. Now there is a rendezvous park, this particular building here with the flags on it. Here's that building at Mississippi again to let you know. Yep. There it is. There's that sm uh, onion spiral. And that, penny pier, that, that pier used to be right here. Hello. Can you see that one? There it is again. Same shot to let you know the pier has been removed. Rendezvous in. Rendezvous Park and the pavilions are in between Mississippi and Georgia. Here's the Mississippi, uh, from Mississippi to Columbia Place, right here. Mississippi to Columbia Place, right here. Let's let that one sit for a sec. There's Rendezvous Park. Roller coaster. The dark you stuff. see the dark stuff is huge, huge roller coasters back here. This is Arkansas Avenue. Here's Captain Jung home out on the pier, and here's the net holes. But if you look down the boardwalk, look down the boardwalk. Keep coming down the no boardwalk. No high buildings, but the rich. Keep coming down the boardwalk. That's it. There she is, falling into right the ocean. Right there. Now. Where you at? The Ritz? On the Rendezvous Park right there, the people that jog your memory. Here's Bader Field, and there was water cutting it off at Albany Avenue. Hmm. How about before the Ritz? Prior to the Ritz. Oh, look at that. I'm That's pretty, the Savoy. I'm, I'm pretty that. sure this is the Savoy. This would be Belmont Avenue. This would be California Avenue. California, the Savoy, the Belmont, the Ritz, only four stories high. The land, right, nice. the land on Iowa and the Bulwark still flat. The bath and turf buildings aren't even built yet. Storefronts. Storefronts over to Stenton. Only one tower under construction of the there. Ambassador. The back rear of it is under construction. You have the Chelsea. You have all vacant lots down to from the Chelsea to the Zinger Creston Hotel and or the now if we were to Osden. If we were to pile in behind, on the boardwalk, behind the pavilions that were in front of Rendezvous Park, et cetera, wouldn't that be it right there? That is that Arkansas, Missouri, and the boardwalk? We're talking a shot here from, what, Florida? We're, okay. Right. To Georgia. Okay. To Mississippi, because here's those white pavilions out front. See right. that? Excursion, wait for right. the train. Ge Georgia to Mississippi, wait for the train. See, everybody would wait at a particular street end on the boardwalk for the train, and they would back the trains with no cabooses on them right up to the back of the boardwalk. And you'd wait, and you'd get on the train. That streets were lined with hotels. But if you look at this particular picture, you have Missouri to Mississippi, from Mississippi to Georgia, from Georgia to Florida. And if you're lucky, you can see the address of the book and the awning, if you get a magnifying glass, you see that it says like 22, 23, or 2400 block, which is actually, we know, 22, 23, and 24 is Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, Florida, and Georgia, right in here. Van Hall's Toyland, five cents, postcards. And they built the roller coaster in behind the buildings of the rendezvous, and if you look close, you can point to the rails above that yellow building back there. If you look right in here, you see a massive roll, roller coaster, yeah. all in here. See, back in here. Here's the rendezvous park. Here's the pavilion excursion houses in front of what is now the convention hall. Here's Million Dollar Pier. 
So I'm with you, you on that. If you pull the card back, which I cannot do. Okay. Sticking. Okay, got it. It's hot. Which way? Whatever, the bulwark. Well, I'm just saying, Belmont and the right. bulwark, Texas and the bulwark. If you notice the Bellevue and the bulwark, it jumps out. It still jumps out there. Mm -hmm. Bellevue and the bulwark. Playboy is here. Convention hall. There's no convention hall. Convention hall goes right in here. Where? There's where Rendezvous Park's frontage is. There's right? Rendezvous Park's frontage right here. And there's, this is a bigger one. Brings it up even bigger and closer. Getting closer. And then you had uh, the roller coaster and everything at night. Here's how it looked at you night. You can see the roller coaster. Can you point out the S-curve of how it used to run around there? Right here, you can see a massive roller coaster comes in and swings around, comes back here, and then drops back down in here. Okay. Very now. huge. This is called Rendezvous Parks, Sand Alley. Now we're into uh, Chelsea a little bit is where we're staying. Right. Chelsea and the Boardwalk. This is Chelsea and the Boardwalk. This would be Montpelier and the Boardwalk, down here further. So Montpelier to Chelsea, Chelsea to Mars, Mars to Brighton. That's where you're at, right there. Now right if you had... Chelsea. If I may interrupt, if you had Good Singers Hotel, Creston. Creston, and you had the Austin, and you had the President Hotel, when we were growing up, there were no great pavilions in that Bo uh, Boston Avenue area. I wanted you to look at this one. That's looking towards the President Hotel from Lake Sovereign and Montpelier Avenue on the beach. Here's Montpelier and the beach. This would be Montpelier Avenue, the Osden, and the Creston. Here's the Creston. Behind it, you don't have it over You can see it. Can you see it? Oh. There's the Creston. There's the Osden. And the President gets erected right here. And here's the pavilion. And I, the pavilion had to be at Montpelier and the Bull. Oh, there's another pavilion. Behind yeah. it. Yeah. Can't see him with this, but this is Albany Avenue right here. That was it. So it looked like downtown. And then you had that in front of the Chelsea Hotel, which was the Deauville and the Ambassador, the young people. You had the Ambassador here and the Chelsea here, which later became the Deauville. But you can see that beach. That's where they mobbed them. That was the beach. Hi Hat Joe's was up on the left. You can see Hi Hat Joe's, a very popular place for all the college kids at the, all through the 50s and the 60s. There's a westbound shot. The Ritz. Now I'll show you Rendezvous Park's frontage is what they call an artist rendition. And I'll have a little fun with you. I want to just show you something funny. Here's one. Here's what the Rendezvous Park looked like. Now it's an artist conception because it would be a big brick pavilion. I mean, a white wooded pavilion out front. And then I saw it again at another postcard show. Sure, right, and he grabbed it because it shows the first wheel and loop loop. This is all, this is Mississippi to George Avenue, the site of the future convention hall at that time. And I knew it was a card that nobody else had, and all when I came across it, I got another one. So you gobbled them all up. You and cornered the one. market on the, on the <laughs> Rendezvous Park because you heard Who's somebody. Who's got them? Who was it? Joe has all the Rendezvous Park pictures. I couldn't uh, help it. So I don't even look for them. <laughs> well, you didn't believe that this was million dollars. You thought it was Asbury Park, but we had another photo show back or two but that really is million dollar pier. What happened is you get pictures of the things before they're completed. See, the pier had to be built, and then they started adding to the pier, and it did become, this is the net hall, and this became the side net hall, and this became the other buildings, and this is actually million dollar pier, which became Ocean One years later. When they, first they had to build the pier, and then he wrecked things on it, and this is in between. Mm. The million dollar piers erections. Well, to have water, to have water, <laughs> you had to have the water pressure above where you, it's normal. It's you, the thing now, even today, everywhere. The, the whole uh, theory behind water is I think you got to get 100,000 gallons at least by 80 to 100 feet above the ground in order for the water pressure to push it up two or three or four or five, six stories higher into a building. Or to everybody's faucet. But in those days, they didn't have, they didn't understand that principle and couldn't build the big water towers we do today. So they would put the water tower, if you look here, on the tops of the buildings Her building. and let the water be down for both. Right. There's the boardwalk from the Nasherai restaurant just before the Ritz called looking east. This would be Stetton Place and the boardwalk right here. Now what happened as a kid, these buildings were always here from Stetton. You notice there's no, there's no Savoy. The Savoy has been taken out of the picture and there's no Ritz Carlton. But the funny thing was in the 50s when the bath and turf was burning down behind this particular structure, I went up on the board and went up to see the fire because this general alarm had blasted and as we were gone, 
We got on the rolling chair lanes and opened our coats and our slippery shoes and it would actually blow you down a bullock like a sailboat. But that is a great picture of Iowa and the boardwalk. There's that roof again. See, didn't there's that roof. Restaurant. There's that roof again. So apparently this shot is taken from the finely erected Ritz mm -hmm. to the bath and turf gambling casinos. There they are right there, if you want to know, ladies and gentlemen. All these rooms back here and the Rich Carlton rooms across here were only built to house the high rollers that would come to these casinos. Problem. Ambassador Ritz, there's those shops from Stenton to Iowa. There's the Ritz, here's the Ambassador. <whistles> there's Rendezvous Park gone and a massive convention hall built in its place, 1927 to 1929. They probably put it in there. You know, as a kid, when I was growing up without thinking or knowing anything, I always thought that Convention Hall was a building rendition to be a pachyderm, to actually be another elephant. Because if you look at this, it is like the back of an elephant. It's sitting there like an elephant would sit, if you look nah. at it. Yes, it is. That's what I say it is. I'm killing that idea. No. There's that elephant again. <laughs> And this is before they completed the front. Here's the old wooden things that we show people in front of Rendezvous Park. Yeah. Still there, the yeah. old wooden ones. Before the brick ones go in, as the next car will show. Look at all the lifeboat boats. Isn't boats. that something? They must have had a rescue every moment or something. There's that building. <laughs> Look, there's that building. I saw it. I'm not is, it, is it on? Yep. There it is. There it is. So that means the pier was here. What was that Penny Lane or something? Later on, it became there's a, There you go. Look at that picture. Then they tore down the old white junk, and they put this massive thing in here. There's now at the well, time, that was the well, largest freestanding, no column building. Largest building in the world. In the world. Open look, space. Look right here. What's this? Well, what? That's that building There's again. There's that building again. So well, I remember the, pier, the, the, pier, the, the pier was actually here. Now they were on Missouri. Oh, they were on Missouri? But here, here it is. These were open air pavilions. We have pictures of ourselves, home movies coming down here. Three there you minutes. go. We got about three minutes to show you these. Look at that beautiful photo there. there. Here's the apartments that stood between Florida and Georgia. Nick Talley's bar was down here. The crane right. building was here. Here's the convention hall in with the plaza. I want to finish this subject. We're going to go to convention hall. That's just past convention hall. But here we go to convention hall. There's that rendition back better, right? And uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to get that in there. There's renditions of it. Artist renditions. I'm going to show you artist renditions. Now this here is not a rendition. At one time the staircase did come right down to the beach. More crowds. See how the park come across the front? Pretty good. Pretty good. You'd have to study this one if you really wanted to look yeah, at it. Yeah, you can really get into the streets here. Crane, George Avenue, Mississippi, Columbia, Plaza. There's the fountain that people in the 30s and 20s and 30s and 40s would remember. There it is. You take Easter pictures here. There it is again. There, there's that building. Inside. So there's inside during what? What's that? That's the opening. I found out that that's the day it opened. The day the convention hall opened. They had it set up like that. There's the night that it there opened. There it is. There's Chicken Bone Beach right here. There's the lifeguard tent. And they put the ice rink in there. The ice in Can't there. Can't get these Charlie Lockney, Dorrington, Hope Foster. your heart out, postcard collectors. Seagulls. Yep. Bob room. Football. Yeah. Football in the convention hall. Dancing. Dancing in the ballroom. Flowers in your head. Horticulture show inside the building. A couple of different shots of the convention hall. Outside. Ball. American flags. Hello. Too That's fast. That's about it. So, this show's almost over. There's how it sat in relationship to uh, the water. The water. <laughs> you can see. There's that building again. Hey, here's a pretty one. Pretty. Isn't that nice? I like that. There's the lifeguard boat. Well, this is what it's how This it sat. building has been built for the, by the people of Atlantic City for the people of Atlantic City, it says. I you hear know, you. I hear you. probably got a chance to even get in there. I hear you. There she is. There's how it sits. There's if you notice right here, the ambassador's two separate buildings. Okay, we got 30 seconds All to right. thank everybody for tuning in again. And we're coming back to us and what we're here for. We are now the postcard childs of Atlantic City. <laughs> and that's uh, pretty good. Uh, we're well, up to... Uh, one when they had the Festival of Light, they put this one on there. Yeah. They flooded the beach with all kinds of colors and Look at them light. apartments on Bellevue down there. Look at them. Look at this them here. Apartments. It's all gone. Could you imagine having them? 
Crawford Avenue is gone. Wow. And that right. was yesterday, yep. and yesterday's gone. Today, the picture behind us is just a year or so old, not that old. We always like to refer to this as this is the skyline of Atlantic City right here. And uh, right. you can tune in on that. It would have been something like that right yeah. there. Freeze frame. Looks the same. Put it right there. Too far away. People can't see it. Can't see it. Tell your people. Tune into the postcard show. We'll talk about Atlantic City. We'll show you the postcards. You can reminisce. New York has its lady. San Francisco the Bay. Paris has its tower, London its queen. The town I was born in might change from old to new. That's something I must tell you. I've got sand in my shoes. I'll never leave. Atlantic City I'll never go Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk the song People come every day the sun air, walk on its beaches, might ride in rolling chairs. When they look at the brand new, think of the old days, things they used to do. Atlantic City, my own town, I won't forget. City, I'll never leave.